What's going on everybody? Mr. AGZ here bringing you a Pokemon X and Y Wi-Fi battle here today. This time it's up against Gabriel. Gabriel's got this Haxorus, Talonflame, Meowstic, Charizard, Conkeldurr, and Excadrill. Oh man, that Excadrill. I'm going to go ahead and lead off or bring in my Haxorus, my own Haxorus, my own Charizard, my Caesar, my Porygon 2, my Venusaur, and all giggity. That's right. Quagsire, or Quagmire, or Quagsire, whatever you want to call them. Anyways, here we go with this battle here. I'm looking forward to it. We have some of the same pokes. I know right now the poke that I actually am fearing the most on his team is that Excadrill. Don't ask why. Just Excadrills and me don't tend to get along sometimes. And sure enough, he leads off with that Excadrill to start off. So immediately I'm going to have to face those fears. I go ahead and bring out my Haxorus. Now... We both have Mole Breaker, but with the attack I have on my Haxorus, there's really no point in me sticking around here. He's um, floating around with that air balloon, so I'm going to go ahead and switch out my Haxorus while I have this chance. Bring in this Charizard, which <laughs> is lucky for me, because sure enough, he's going to go ahead and lead off with those Stealth Rocks. Not what I wanted to see, but that's just the way it is. Stealth Rocks comes out, he's going to go ahead and withdraw Excadrill, and yeah, he's going to bring out his own Charizard. Now with those rocks in, it's going to be very hard for me to go ahead and bring in my Charizard again because he's going to go down to the rocks. We don't want that to happen. Ran Flare Blitz, hoping it was extra drill, but it didn't happen. So, now this next turn, I'm going to go ahead and Mega Evolve to Mega Charizard X. I barely use Charizard X, but I decided let's try a different Mega Stone for once. So here we go, Mega Charizard I X. He's going to Mega Evolve to Charizard X as well. So now we've got two Charizards on the same field. Both looking absolutely awesome. Now luckily, I'm assuming there's a speed tie. I'm able to get the first attack off with that Dragon Claw. And it's enough to take out my opponent's Mega Charizard X. At this point, I'm thinking, yeah, buddy, I'm good. I'm ready to go. In comes Meowstic. Now this Meowstic is going to go ahead and run Fake Out. It's a female version, so I believe it has... It's either Infiltrator or... Um, what is it? Prankster, maybe? I don't remember off the top of my head. Anyways, Excadrill is going to come in here. I wish I had been able to predict that. Um, breaks them all because if it did, I would have just finished it off right there. But instead, I went with a DD, Dragon Dance, which works. That's not bad. It's going to make me faster. I'll be good to go. So here we go. Ready to attack this guy with a Flare Blitz. But he's switching out. And who does he switch out to? Well, he switches out to Old Man Conk, that Conkledur. Now, luckily for me, this Flare Blitz is going to be super strong. It's going to be enough to take out this Conkledur. Luckily for me. Surprisingly for me. I actually didn't expect that. But that crit, though. Man, what can you do when your opponents get crits? Absolutely nothing. So, anyways, he's going to go ahead and send in Per Jesus, that Town Flame. At this point, I might as well sack my Charizard because I don't think there's anything I can really switch into that I want to switch into to face a Brave Bird. Um, I've got that critical hit. I'm going to go ahead and go out like the crit mattered. Um, he's going to take recoil damage, though. But that, that helps me out. He's got lefties. Barely see Town Flames running with lefties, but they, they're pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and send out my Porygon 2. I'm going to get hit by that stone, but that's okay. I'm going to pick up Gale Wings. Not that it's going to really help me much. Um, he's going to withdraw Town Flame, which is very unfortunate. Because he brings an Excadrill in to, ta to counter Town Flame, I was actually running with a Thunderbolt. Um, here comes Excadrill's Mold Breaker. My Thunderbolt's going to go ahead and hit him. The only problem is it doesn't affect Excadrill. Why? Because he's a ground type. He's going to run Earthquake on me. I can take that really well. That was a critical hit. And I'm going to go ahead and get this Ice Beam, actually. Ice Beam's not going to do much, but it is going to pop that Air Balloon. That's the most crucial, crucial part. He gets this Iron Head damage in, takes me down to 70. I'm going to go ahead and get this Recover off while I have the chance. And Recover. Yeah, buddy. Takes me up to 166. Now he's going to withdraw Excadrill, thinking, um, yeah, I'm, this is a losing battle. And he sends out Haxorus. And I'm okay with that. Why? Because I happen to run... Well, here's the Mold Breaker. I happen to run Tri-Attack. Tri-Attack is a stab attack for Porygon 2, which I think is amazing. Um, Haxorus has super power, that's going to be super effective on me, but luckily I'm bulky enough to take that really well. His attack's going to fall and so is his defense, which is okay with me. And my Ice Beam, of course, will be more than enough to take out this Haxorus. So down goes Haxorus, and yeah, we're in a situation where we're on the home 
stretch now. I just gotta be able to finish off the rest of those pokes and do something about that darn uh, Excadrill. So Talonflame comes in, he's gonna immediately go for the Brave Bird, and yeah, Brave Bird's gonna be enough to take out my poor gun too. So my wall is now gone, but that's okay. Um, Talonflame's gonna take a little bit of recoil damage, get a little bit of Lefty's Recovery. Why? Because it's a Lefty's Recovery set. <laughs> Um, I'm gonna go ahead and send in Quagsire. Aw, oh, giggity. Giggity that and giggity this. I'm gonna get hit by stones. That's okay. He's gonna withdraw Talonflame. That's the first mistake once you see this the guy. <laughs> so withdrawing Talonflame, he's gonna go ahead and bring in Excadrill. He's got Mole Breaker. Now Mole Breaker is going to go ahead and affect me in a very small way, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and get the stockpile in, but Mole Breaker, um, if your opponent has an ability that's gonna affect way it hits and attack that affects and attacks hit it nullifies that ability so here comes an EQ um, however I've got that stockpile on and here comes a second stockpile oh man an EQ a stab EQ does that much damage you know we're in trouble now so we're gonna go ahead and heal back up to 172 Excadrill is gonna go ahead and run iron head thinking it's gonna do more damage but it's actually gonna do even less it's not very effective and get this third stockpile, and now I am sitting here really, really pretty. <laughs> so, my special defense and my defense is through the roof now. And yeah, get a little bit of Lefty's recovery too. Here comes an EQ from this guy. It's not going to do much at all. Man, here comes the first power up punch. It's not going to be like super strong, but it's super effective, and it's going to allow my attack to raise. So I'm going to get stronger and stronger with each attack. He's going to go ahead and draw Excadrill. Seeing that this is going to be a losing battle for his Excadrill, I was very saddened by that because I really wanted to take it out. And he's going to go ahead and send out Meowstick. I'm going to go ahead and run another power-up punch, hoping it was still Excadrill, but it wasn't. But that's okay. It's not going to be very effective because he happens to be a psychic type. But um, I've built up my um, attack to where any other attack is going to be okay. Meowstick's going to run Calm Mind, which is going to raise his special defense and special attack up. However, my Quagsire happens to be a physical set. So here comes Waterfall. That's going to be a physical Waterfall at plus two. And it's not enough to take him out, but you know what? <laughs> We're about ready to take him out. Here comes a Shadow Ball. I'm going to be able to take that really well, as you can see here. And now my special defense does fall at this point. I'm like, no, why? I ran power up punch. I figured I would knock him out in one turn, but surprisingly, I did not. Um, but that's okay. You know what? Now we're looking at plus three. We're gonna gain a little bit of health. We're gonna go ahead and try for a third one here, or a fourth one here, here in a second. We're gonna be able to withstand this um, shadow ball. Here comes that power up punch. It's gonna be enough to take out Meowstick. Now I am at plus four. Plus four. If I wasn't able to take anything out now, or back then, I certainly will be able to now. This Quagsire, or Quagmire, aw oh, giggity giggity giggity, is ready to go. Bird Jesus, this Talonflame comes out now, and is going to go ahead and Brave Bird me, but with my defenses through the roof, I'll just, let's see here, this is how much it does. That's it. Don't you wish y'all could do that? <laughs> it's all about the giggity, with that giggity face, BAM! Hitting that Town Flame with plus four. Town Flame's going down, being a super effective attack. Oh, yeah. Anyways, <laughs> get this lefties. Nearly, nearly finished with this game. We got this one guy to deal with. We know who it is. Here comes Excadrill. That darn Excadrill with that Mold Breaker. I'm so ready to get rid of him. He's going to run EQ because he's faster than me. As long as it doesn't crit me, I should be fine, right? Right. Here comes that waterfall. It's going to hit Excadrill. It's going to be super effective. And down goes Excadrill for a great battle here with Gabriel. So guys, yeah, Gabriel had some good pokes. That Excadrill, I'm telling you, totally, totally throws a, um, a kink in my armor. Anyways, it was a good battle here. If you guys liked it, do me a favor, hit that like button. It shows me that you all appreciate what I'm doing and that you would like to see some more. You can also check out some of my other videos here on my channel. We have links here to Pokemon Battles, Pokemon Livestream videos, and to my Titan Fall playlist. To keep up with all my uploads and show your support, please share this video and subscribe to Mr. AGZ to join in on the GZ Army. We livestream Saturdays, Sundays, and Wednesdays. 
Alright guys, until next time, be sure to catch them all. Later.